everybody, it's Crappy the Craps Man here. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Um, Cindy and I went to Cherokee a couple weeks ago. I took a $3,000 bankroll, came home with $4,000 in my pocket. My butt hurt. I was riding down the road and my wallet was so full. It was hurting my butt all the way home. Three and a half hour drive. Oh, it was exhausting. But that was after buying all of our drinks, our food, and spent some in the gift shop. We went on a comp trip, so we didn't have to pay for hotel. I'll tell you what, those Harris comps, they're pretty nice. They treat you pretty good. And we enjoyed the Laurel Lounge, too. And Cindy, she only took a $100 bankroll. And she had a $100 free play, uh, 116 or something like that. And she came home with 460 Pretty good for her. I'm telling you what. So we both came home winners. We went out of there like follow the yellow brick road, skipping. You know, we was happy. All right. But the key to winning in craps consistently, now no one can win every time. It all depends on the combination of these dice and what strategy you happen to be playing at the time. No one can win every time. But you can turn it to where it's at least in your favor a little bit. Now, what I, the strategy I played, I played a little bit of the tower. I didn't really get that going, but I uh, played a lot of Sweet 49, and it did really well. Really well. But I was watching people putting 160 across. Um, you know it takes at least four hits to get your money back on 160 across, and then you start making profit. You lose two or three of those in a row, your bankroll's depleted. Um that is not the way to play unless you regress i mean you could do 160 across take three or four hits and regress down now that's good or you could be pressing up now that's good too but just to put 160 across and not do anything except for collect 35 dollars every time um, and you know more for the 10 and the four you just it just ain't mathematically going to work in your favor and um bankroll management is the key to uh consistently winning at craps and i recommend you can disagree with me and if stay the heck out of all this garbage over here stay out of it it's high house edge um the pass line and don't pass now you can play those once in a while but i only play when i'm the shooter because i just don't like the one-to-one -one then having to bet more with the odds so i stay the heck away from those too as far as the ats bets and all that you can play that. You need a separate bankroll for that. Um, but I will tell you this. I asked several dealers this weekend, how many times has the a ATS hit during your shift throughout a week? Uh, one said none lately, but we did have one hit when we were there. That's during their shift only, not to say it didn't hit on someone else's shift. Most of them said one time throughout and I don't know if they play 30 out if they work 30 hours or 40 hours. Okay? That should tell you something. And it really does suck if you're not on it and it hits, okay? I, I get it. I get it. But you need to keep your separate bankroll just to keep an idea of how much you actually spend on that bet. There's a reason why that bet's up there. Just letting you know. I stay off of it myself. Alright. And um anyway, the what I like to do is 10 shooters. Okay, we're going to play six and eight for $30 each. We need $600 for 10 shooters. I'm going to put that in my front rack, all my winnings in the back, and then I'll adjust after I'm done. And what I'll usually do is if I lose 100 to 200, I'll think about it. I might just re put, if I had some other money I'd won, I'll put it back into it. But I'll play my uh, cold table strategy, which is uh, my go-to winning strategy. If you haven't checked that one out, check it out. I'll play that to grind myself back up because that means it is a cold table if I lost. Okay, if I win, like let's say I won 300 bucks, I'll put that 300 in my pocket and start back over with 10 shooters again. A lot of times I'll walk away from the table um, and go, that's advantage to playing 25 hour tables, you can easily get back in. I'll walk around, do something else, maybe go over and cash my chips back in and go buy back in. I bet you I bought in 15 times with the same money. Uh, and my, 
comps went nuts, which, all right, let's play some Sweet 49. That's what I'm going to play today. We got our 10 shooters here. We're going to put our winnings over here, and hopefully we'll come out ahead. If not, we will adjust. All right, we are coming out. No pass or don't pass for me. We're staying off all this, um, uh, what do you call them, sucker bets? Yeah, sucker bets. All right, there's an eight for a point. First shooter, 30 on the six and the eight. Let's see if we can do it. We got a six the hard way. All right, that's going to pay us 35. We're going to tell our dealer to make our six look like 42. And he will give you 23 and change. Okay, so now we got the six built up. And I'm going to show you, we're going to, hopefully we'll get to that level. It don't always happen. We're going to try to fill up everything working from that right there. So now this will pay a sweet 49. All right. We got a five. We're not on the five yet. We got a 10. We got a nine. Everything but what we need. That's okay. If you like the, oh, seven down. If you like that gratification of getting a hit every time, then just play that 160 across and lose. Okay. All right. We made a little bit. We lost a little bit. Not a very good shooter. All right. Coming out. We only need one good shooter out of these 10 to really build our bankroll up. All right. 30 on the 6 and the 8. Here we go. We got a 9. We got another nine. We got an eight. That's great. That's our point. It's going to pay us 35. We have some ones there, so we'll collect our green chip, drop the dealer two, make our eight look like 42, collect that green chip. All right, here we go. And we got an eight for a point. We don't work come outs. Um, the reason I don't like working come outs is. Uh, Sometimes, a lot of times that seven will hit back to back, which I shouldn't have said seven, but here we go. There's a four, it didn't seem to bother me. There's a three. There we go, there's a six. All right, we're gonna tell the dealer to make our six look like 42. So he will pay us 23, and he will take 12 and put on the six. So now we have both of these will pay a sweet 49. Now we're going to start advancing out to the nine to five. And we got an eight. Oops. Let me just get my eight out here. Went in behind my chip thing. All right. That's our point. That's going to pay a sweet 49. All right. We're going to drop one to the dealer. We're going to go on the nine, collect the green chip. Now we could go ahead and jump to the five. I'm not going to do that this time. I'm going to go ahead and just collect one. I like to have, now we got our money back on this shooter. All right, here we go. And we got an eight. We're not working the come outs. Here we go. And we got a nine. Look at that. The nine will pay us 35. We'll collect the green chip. Drop $10 on there. Now that'll pay a sweet 49. Sweet 49, sweet 49, sweet 49. All right, now we want to get that five built up with the next hit. And then we'll start going to the 10 and the four. And we got an eight. That's great. That's our point. That pays us sweet 49. Now usually I let the eight build up. You know, I would collect this, but I'm going to go ahead and go to the five on this one. Collect this one green chip. So uh, we collected $24 profit, and we're working on it. We're coming out. Our bets are off. This, is, this could be that one good shooter. Shouldn't have jinxed it. All right, here we go. And we got a craps three. And we sevened out. Uh, didn't work. We... We were working on it though. All right. We are 
are coming out. Shooter number three. Some snake eyes. And we got a 10 on the end. All right. Shooter. This will be shooter number three or four, somewhere in there. <coughs> All right. Here we go. Be good to us. We got a five, Viva Five. We got a nine. That ain't going to help us. We got an eight. That is great. All right. It's going to pay us 35. We'll go ahead and get the 35. We have two ones. We'll drop to the dealer. Tell them to make our eight look like 42. So it'll pay us sweet 49. All right. Here we go. And we got another eight. And that pays us sweet 49. All right. So we'll have to get paid ugly on that. We don't have... I'm not calling you ugly, I'm just saying we gotta get paid ugly. All right, there's 30, there's 40, 45, 49. Now, I usually collect that. Now, you could you can go ahead and drop 12 and build that up if you want. There's lots of things you can do, but I like to get that in here. That basically gives my money back for the shooter because of what I've already collected on that. So, we're good to go in the shooter. There's a 12. And we sevened out. See, good thing we didn't press over there. We're rolling along here. We're doing a, got a little profit, I think. Not much. <clears throat> All right. We are coming out. And we got a craps three on the come out. We got a seven on the come out. We got a 10 on the end right there. All right, $30, six and eight. Oops, put it upside down. All right, here we go. And we got an eight right out of the gate. That is great. That's gonna pay us 35. We have some white chips, so we'll just throw two to the dealer. Tell them to make our eight look like 42. All right, here we go. And we got a yo 11. We got a four. We got a six. Look at that. We're building up the other side. All right. We'll get 35 on that one. Drop the dealer two. Make our six look like 40, uh, 42. And look at that. We're rolling. We're in good shape on this shooter, too. We got a four. We just got to get that one good thing going here where we can start collecting big. All right, there's a six. That's going to pay a sweet 49. All right, we don't have a one. So we'll have to get paid ugly. 30, 40, 45, 49. And we will go to the five. All right, here we go. Spreading out now. Where's an eight? That's great. It's gonna pay a sweet 49. We have a one, so we'll do that. Now we're gonna to go to the nine, collect up that green chip. And we got another eight. That's gonna pay a sweet 49. All right, now we got two things we can do here. We can collect this. Let me drop my one back. Or we can spread it, get our nine and five going. So we get, I'll kind of judge where we're at here. We're in the profit a little bit. So I'm going to drop the dealer $20. And we're going to make these go ahead and pay us $49. So now hopefully we can get to the 10 and 4 too. Then we're just going to collect, collect, collect. All right, there's a 9. Paid off for us. Going to pay us sweet $49. All right, now we're going to go to the 10. Pay a big on the 10. Collect up the green chip. All right, we close. The next hit, we're gonna go on the four. After that, we're collecting everything. There's a six. Gonna pay us sweet 49. We don't have anything, so it's gonna have to pay us ugly here. There's 49, and we are gonna go to the four. They are big on that. Now, from here on out, we just collected. We built everything up from here. Hopefully we can get a couple rolls. Every in, every roll in the number, we're gonna get paid big. This is where we take off. All right, here we go. And we got a four, that's a score. That 
that's going to pay us 50 bucks. We'll have to rebuy the four. Indian casinos make you rebuy afterwards. Some casinos don't. All right, there's a four. Collecting $49. And we sevened out. Oh. Well, you'll have that on these big jobs, and this is definitely a big job. This is a big job. All right. We're in pretty good shape. We're coming out. We're going to have to go into serious overtime to get through all these shooters. There's a seven on the come out. There is a five FIBA five. All right. Here we go. $30 on the six and the eight. Let's see if we can get it all the way across again. There's a five, not gonna help us. There's a point, we are coming out again. And we got a seven on the come out, right where we wanna see it. And we gotta go back to the five. All right, we got a 10, not gonna help us. We need a six or an eight. Get this thing rolling. There we go, we got an eight, six and a two. All right, that's gonna pay us 35. We got a couple ones there. Throw them the dealer, make our eight look like 40. And we roll it. And we seven out. We did get a green chip back on that. Wasn't a total loss. All right, we are coming out. And we got a five. All right, we'll go with the shooter. This is shooter number six. See, see how you only need one or two good shooters to start building profit up. There is a 10. There is the 6 right there. It's going to pay us 35. Um, we're going to tell the dealer to make us look like 42. Or 6. And that will give us 23 and change. Alright, here we go. And we got a 10. We got a seven out. <clears throat> there again, we collected one chip. We didn't wasn't a total loss, but we didn't make a profit. All right, we are coming out, and we got a craps three on the come out. Try to keep a good pace here so we can get through all these shooters. There's a four. There again, here's our bankroll. Here's our winnings. We're actually doing fairly well. All right, here we go, we rolling. And we got a nine, not gonna help us. And we got another nine, not gonna help us. And we got a seven, definitely not gonna help us. All right, we are coming out. Trying to get through all these shooters here, there's a six. Got three shooters left. Stick around for the three shooters. We'll see how we come out. All right, we got a midnight. We got back-to-back -back midnights. We got craps three. We're hitting all the craps numbers. We got a nine. We got an eight, and that is great. All right, that can pay us 35. We got a couple ones there. So we're gonna throw $2 to the one. To the dealer, I mean, and now we got a forty-two dollar eight, and we got a nine, and we got another nine. Nines are hot, man, and we got an eight. That's going to pay a sweet forty-nine. All right, I am going to collect that because that gives me my money back on that shooter. That's why. Now we are playing with their money on this shooter, and the good thing we did, we sevened out. Two more shooters to we're about to our 600 there and then we're going to start being the profit all right if we can pull it off all right there's a 10 on the end one more shooter after this one and we will assess what we're going to do 
Yo, 11. There's an 8. That is great. It's going to pay us uh, 35. We don't have it, so we'll tell the dealer make our 8 look like 42. And he will give us 23 and change. And we roll it. And we got a 3. And we got a 10. That's our point. We are coming out. And we got a 4. We're going to the other end. And we got a 6. Look at that. All right, that'll pay us 35. We have two ones, so we'll drop two to the dealer. Select that green chip. All right, now we got 42. They both pay a sweet 49. All right, here we go. We are in overtime. There is a six, and we get to pay, get paid sweet 49. All right, we'll drop one back. We're going to the five, and just like that, we have 600. Now this is still our money up here. That's what we started with. If we pull that down in this, we've made profit. We still have, this is all profit now from now on. All right, here we go. And we sevened out. Remember I said we'd pull that down right there and have profit? <laughs> Dang, I had a bad feeling about that. All right. So far, we're not making a kill in here. But, little bits at a time. That's how, how you win. 300, 200, 40 bucks. Lose just 50 bucks or 80 bucks or 100 bucks. Then make it up. Okay, that's bankroll management. All right, we are coming out. Last shooter. Let's see how the dice gods treat us. There's a seven on the come out. And it's going to be a five for a point on the last shooter. This is our profit shooter right here. Right now we are only up, if we leave those bets out there, we're only up 20 bucks. <laughs> Dang, after 10 shooters. But better than losing, right? And we got a six right out of the gate. All right, that's going to pay us 35. So what we're going to have to do is tell the dealer to make us 6 look like 42, so he will give us 23. And 6 will look like 42. All right, here we go. And we hit the 6. He's a sweet 49. All right, we're going to collect that. Remember I told you we collect that one because that makes us be paid for. I'm going to go ahead and put it over here because we've already went through our whole bankroll so now we got extra room here all right we collecting that one because that gives us profit on this shooter now we're playing with their money and the rest of our pressing there's an eight and that is great all right that's going to pay us 35 collect this if we have two chips we'll throw it and just like that we built up all right Nice to make. Oh, we sevened out. Oh, well. Now, you, we could have won big on this. There's a couple times, but we didn't. But that's how it goes. There's our original 600. There is a... Dollars, one fifteen in profit on ten shooters. So what I would do, this table seems to be kind of choppy. We won. We don't have to use cold table to build our. If we would have lost a hundred, we probably would have just still played, kept going. But if I'd have been down two hundred, I would have went to cold table or my go-to winning crap strategy. All right. So we're gonna take this hundred and fifteen. We'll put it in our pocket. Oops, someone's dinging me. Then, we're going to start back over. Ten shooters. See how we come out. Meanwhile, we are 115 in the profit. That's how you do it. All right, that's my way. That's how I come out ahead. Um, 
And now if we would have if it would have been like this and we lost, I would have ground out some cold table. All right, y'all. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, crappy says, don't crap out. <laughs>